Not to get philosophical, but I love to record videos. And for me, it's just a way to save memories and be able to relive all the best things in life, from travel to family parties to surfing with friends, whatever it is, the goal is to record it with the best quality and the least effort. Phone cameras are great, DSLRs are great, but they both have their own problems. So for me, I like to rely on action cameras for most of my trips and vacations, and it allows me to focus and enjoy what I'm doing without being distracted by equipment or a phone or a camera or anything like that, and basically just hold a little selfie stick while I'm doing something, and then later go back and see the amazing footage. This means great stabilization, a small size, durability, and most importantly, lots of versatility. So what you're looking at right here is basically an entire film crew in your pocket. Of all the action cameras you could buy, the new Insta360 ONE RS is arguably the most versatile. This camera is wildly unique and with a modular design that gives you a waterproof, durable action camera with great stabilization that allows you to change the lenses. And I don't just mean interchangeable lenses like you have on a DSLR and you could just change the zoom, I mean like completely change the style of camera. You can have a 360 lens and film everything around you, or you can have a 4K mod that films a wide angle in front of you, still very stabilized. You can have a, one that's amazing for night shots. So I've been testing the new Insta360 ONE RS for about two weeks now. And I've been testing it everywhere I could possibly think of, from biking to swimming to riding in an airboat in the Everglades to jet skiing. And like, it was really fun. It was a great trip. But what actually makes this camera so versatile and exciting? Well, there's really four main things. Before we get too far into this video, I need to clarify that to test this camera, I went on a trip. For about two days, I flew down to the coast and did as much as I possibly could with this camera. And to really test it out, I spent some money doing that. But the trip wasn't cheap. So rather than paying for it myself, I'll let Insta360 sponsor this video. So rather than making a regular video in the studio, I thought it'd be more fun if I let them pay for me to go to the coast, rip around jet skis, ride airboats and, and paddle boards and things like that to really test the camera out in the best way possible. So thanks to Insta360 for sponsoring the video and sponsoring my trip. Before we get to any of the crazy footage from the trip that I wanna talk about, I wanna start off with a, just a physical tour because this camera is already pretty unique from a lot of other action cameras. Like I said, it's a modular design, but let's take a closer look at this. Looking at the front, there's a little switch that if you pull it, it'll allow you to detach the battery. Now you can buy separate batteries if you want. I only have one and I've actually only needed one for the entire trip. I, I'd film for maybe an hour doing what I was doing and, and I had to drive to the next place anyway. So I just made sure I topped off the battery between each destination. Nation. But then that gives you two components. On the top, you have the processor and the screen and, and, and pretty much everything that's, that's being done is in this device and then you have the lens. But let's start off with the part that I said does all of the work. On one side, you have a display, it's a touchscreen display. Uh, it's easy to see in bright daylight. Like I said, I was in Florida, so it was really bright, really sunny all the time and I was still able to see this in all conditions that I was in. On top of that, you have a power button as well as a, a record button. On the right side, we have a little waterproof cap that protects our micro SD card as well as our USB Type-C charging port. But that's not the only way you can transfer files between this and other devices. In fact, if you're using the app on your iPhone, you're able to wirelessly send the videos over to your phone, which is a great way to edit them or just check them when you're on the go without needing to bring a laptop everywhere you go. And of course we have an LED on both the back and the front, which can indicate when it's recording. And then we have the lenses. I think it's easier to talk about them when I actually show you the footage. So the one thing I wanna point out here is that the lens has kind of two little slots on there and this has two slots, but only one connector. And the reason for that is because you can actually connect this in either orientation, meaning the screen facing you and the, and the lens facing away, or both the screen and the lens facing you if you're trying to do more of a vlogging style. So again, added versatility. And then you have the 360 lens, which again attaches in the same connectors. All right, so honestly, the design's really cool, the specs are cool, but it's really better to show this in action. Like I said, I went down to Florida for about a two day trip. So let's dive into some of the footage I captured on that trip. So I started off with a 6 a.m. flight from Philly down to Florida, rented a car, drove straight to the coast and rented a jet ski. Now the jet ski was really great because this is where I used the two different lenses. Starting off with the 4K boost lens, this has incredible stabilization. As you can see, I mean, I was ripping around at 70 kilometers per hour. I don't know what that is in miles per hour, but it was choppy, it was wavy, it was, the jet ski was moving all over the place, and this made it incredibly smooth while still shooting great color and in 4K. So I thought the 4K boost lens already was super impressive, but while I was out there, I decided, you know what? It would be nice if I had a different style of shot. 
for example, if I was going to make a video about me riding the jet ski, I wouldn't just want to look in front of me. I'd want some kind of uh, something facing me or maybe like a drone shot following me. And that's where the 360 lens came in. So the 360 lens, of course, has a, a lot of options, but basically you're able to shoot the video and then later reframe within the app and choose where it's going to point. So basically you put it on, you extend the selfie stick, you hold it out in front of you, and the selfie stick is cropped out with the stitch lines on the camera, and that just leaves you essentially looking like it has a drone following you. So I was able to fly around, not only was it really stable, but it also tracked me, so I used the app to track my face, and it kept me in the middle of the entire video, as you see here, and overall it just gave me a, a really fun shot that I would love to share on Instagram or in any other video. Now, the resolution of the 360 camera is more than 5K, which means you can crop into any shot you want and still retain 1080p footage, which I thought, again, was really impressive that you could do that. So of course the jet ski was fun. Who doesn't like a jet ski? But that was only the first stop on this trip. The next stop, we drove an hour south to the Everglades and hopped on an airboat to rip around the Everglades. <laughs> Also so fun, but a completely different style of video. So rather than open water with a lot of chop that you needed to stabilize, this was a more smooth water. So it's a little bit more stable to begin with, and I wasn't as worried about that. Instead, I was worried more about the details and the leaves flying by, zooming in and out and having the right focus, being able to look at different things. And so the 4K boost lens was perfect for that, which allows you to zoom and reframe anywhere between 17 millimeters, so a really wide angle shot, all the way into a 50 millimeter equivalent. And this was great. So when we're ripping around really fast, I could use a wide angle, you can really see everything. Or when it's a really long tunnel and there's like a lot of, a lot of foliage, I can zoom my in, I could zoom in and look at like alligators and things like that. And so it gave me a lot of versatility in a single little lens that again, I thought was so useful on a situation like an airboat. And of course the airboat was also a really fun stop, but that was not the last stop of the day. Then we drove back to our Airbnb, which actually was a houseboat on the water. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But for sunset, we went out on paddle boards. They're not as hard as they look, but again, I was a little bit worried about dropping the camera. So I was able to use a mount, this little suction cup thing, which is mounted on the front of my paddle board and I could paddle around. And it gives you a lot of different shots, a lot of different angles that otherwise make a video a little bit more unique and a little bit more interesting. And in this situation, especially in the bright daylight when I was paddle boarding early the next morning, I found that I wanted to use the other feature you have on the 4K boost lens, that being active HDR. So active HDR, obviously like any style of high dynamic range setting on a phone or a camera, allows you to capture more, more range in the brightness. So if you have things that are in shadows, as well as things in direct sunlight, a lot of standard cameras would really struggle. And you have to pick which one's going to be exposed and which one's going to be either completely black or completely blown out. Whereas getting HDR, like this lens allows you to, gives you more of a smooth, easy to watch video that shows you everything, the dark shadows as well as the bright highlights. So if you're gonna end up vlogging with this camera, it's gonna be a lot easier if the video is actually facing you, but the main microphone's on the other side, so this is what it would look and sound like if you're recording in that setup. And then this is what it looks and sounds like when the microphone is facing me, but the screen is facing away from me. So for most shots, when you're filming either yourself or other people, it's probably gonna be easier to have it this way, but leave a comment and let me know if this looks or sounds any different to you. Of course, uh, I also wanna point out that right now we're filming in active HDR mode, so I'm out in some really harsh lighting, like the sun's obviously right on me, and so most other cameras, like uh, if you're filming with like a Canon or a DSLR or whatever, you're probably going to have some crazy exposure problems, whereas this, you're getting a really solid, high dynamic range where you can see both like properly exposed, like I look reasonably exposed, and the background is also not blown out or too dark. On top of that, I mean, I just wanna show you guys where, where I am right now. So I came down to Florida to film this video so I could get some like cool shots using an action camera. And so right now I'm on a houseboat, uh, just an Airbnb houseboat, but you can see you can walk around and this is just incredibly smooth. Like I'm walking at a pretty normal pace right now, just walking around and it looks like I'm using an actual gimbal. Like this is, in my opinion, this is really, really impressive while still giving you great color, great exposure and that, that great stability with Insta360's flow state mode. Now, one of the big improvements of the Insta360 ONE RS over previous models is that now it has an even better microphone. So it has three different microphones on there compared to what we had before. So the audio quality should be substantially better no matter where the subjects are. There's different modes as well. So this is in uh, the wind reduction mode. So you can hear what I'm saying without, like it is actually pretty windy out here. 
but there's also like a voice focus mode. You can just hear everything around you. There's different modes for how you can actually record the audio. If you're filming somewhere that's indoors, so it's not really windy, this is what the camera would look and sound like. Again, I'm obviously filming in my studio and we have three microphones, one on the side, one on the other side, and then one on the top. And while I would love to just keep using this camera and showing you guys tons of different shots, I mean, maybe I'll share more on my Instagram or my Twitter if you guys want to follow me, but otherwise, Another really important factor is the software. So when you're using this, I mentioned that it connects to your phone really easily so you can view the shots when you're out in the field, but also with the Insta360 app and the 360 lens, you're able to reframe it any way you want. So as you can see in the app right here, you're able to scrub through and at any point you can kind of reframe it, re-angle it, choose what zoom you have on, on the shot, or you can actually have it automatically detect where you are and just smart track you the entire time. And generally that's what I was doing the most because I found it was the easiest. You can really get the best shot with the least effort, which again is what I said was, in my opinion, one of the most important things for having a camera when you're on a fun vacation or some type of trip like this. But if you don't wanna use your an app on a phone or if you don't have a phone that can really handle that, they also have desktop software. So if you have a laptop or a desktop, you can install the Insta360 Studio software or they have an Insta, they have an Insta360 Premiere Pro, Pro plugin I don't know why that was hard to say, but you can have a plugin on, on Adobe Premiere Pro and edit videos within Premiere Pro and change how they're stabilized, how they're, how they're framed, all types of things like that. And kind of an unsung benefit of this design is you can buy just one item at a time and save up and buy the next item. So if you just buy this, and I have a link in the description, if you guys want to, you can check that out. You can just buy the camera. And then eventually, if you wanna save up for the 360 lens, or if you wanna get the one inch mod or another battery or a mount for a microphone on top, whatever it is, it's so easy to, because it's a modular design, it's so easy to upgrade that I think that's a, a really big positive for anybody getting started with an action camera as well. So in general, I mentioned there were four things that made this camera so exciting. The first one, of course, is the modular design. Being able to swap out lenses when you're on a jet ski and get two completely different styles of shots I think makes it not only more fun to watch later, but also more likely to have the perfect shot no matter what you do. But you also get a ton of variety. For example, the invisible selfie stick with the 360 lens gives you kind of a mock drone shot. Uh, you can also reframe it, look different directions. The 4K lens gives you wide angle shots, or you have the one inch mod that can give you great night shots. Like just a lot of variety for a really small device that all fits in your pocket. The second thing is the new 4K boost lens, which combined with the new processor gives you better stabilization with flow state. You have active HDR, so you can shoot in bright daylight without harsh shadows. You have better heat dissipation. And this is the kind of technology that we love to see moving forward. It makes it really differentiate itself from phones and other cameras out there. The third thing that really makes this a cool action camera is the reversible screen. So rather than needing a screen on the front and the back, this has one that can just flip either direction, which is gonna save battery life and also give you one good display instead of two mediocre displays. So you can use this in vlogging mode where the screen and the camera face you or turn the camera around and see what you're filming in front of you. I think that's just it's such a cool and useful way to set that up. Then of course, the fourth and final thing that I think makes this so exciting is the improved processor, which gives you better stabilization, crisper audio, and like I said, better heat dissipation. But that's it, that's the Insta360 RS. If you guys have any questions about it, leave comments below or, or let me know what your thoughts are on this in general. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.